Hello everybody, my name is EK and welcome back to another GoWars 2 video. Now, I just went online and I tried searching for some presets for the NVIDIA filter overlay kind of thingy. And I realized that pretty much nobody had any footage of it, there were no presets available, there was nothing. So I decided to do my own video on it. So, what is the NVIDIA filter, well, software? Uh, you need an NVIDIA video card, which I think sounds quite so explanatory. Once you have it, you can press Alt F3 in your game. So if I press Alt F3, a window on the left side of my screen will open up with Game Filter. Now there's a chance you get a pop-up that says the game is not supported uh, for Game Filter or something. Um, if it says that with Guild Wars 2, because I've had that before, that often means that your NVIDIA drivers aren't fully up to date, so you might want to update them and then come back to the video. So here you can see you have three different slots for presets, which you could use if you have, you know, different environments where you may want to use different filters. So I have one set up over here, and this is the preset that I usually run. Now you can see I have something set up here, which is the split screen function, which, you know, puts a split screen thing in the middle, and the left side is the non-changed game, and the right side is the game with the filter active. So this is a nice comparison tool. You can also do a split and compare which uh, just you know, duplicates the same thing, which I think might be even nicer because you get like a, a direct one-to-one -one comparison. So let me keep this for a little while. So I wanna just you know run you through the things that I'm running. So first of all, you know that's a split screen thing. You can do like a lot of weird stuff with this, like you can zoom out for some apparent reason, like is there a point to it? Uh, I don't really know, but you have the option to do so. You have a gradient fade, with, like there's a bit of a gradient in the middle, which I guess looks kind of cool, a bit artistic. You change the divider width, uh, you can change the rotation. Like, you can do, like, up and down, which I guess is kind of cool. You can, like, get, like, a weird diagonal thing. You can then change the position. So, you know, you could, like, have a weird -ass slider. Like, there's a lot of different tools you could use for, like, comparisons. Personally, you know, I just kind of use uh, rotation at zero. And I just do, a, like, a one-to-one -one comparison, which I think is fine. But, you know, if you want to experiment with this for whatever purpose, you know, go for it. So, uh, next thing, or the first thing I generally add is color. So, color is uh, pretty nice. You know, you have tint color. I don't like having a tint color because a tint color and a tint intensity just means that, you know, you get like a, like everything becomes green or everything becomes um, blue or everything becomes red or whatever. Like I, I kind of just want to have the game, you know, use its own tint. So I just use tint, color and intensity both at 0%. Now we have temperature. If you feel like the game is either too, uh, too cold or too warm, so too much blue or too much red, uh, you could just, you know, change this. Like you slide it up and you get a bit more red in your game. You slide it down, you get a bit more blue in your game. But personally, once again, I like to keep it at uh, zero, which apparently it doesn't want to do. Uh, so I guess I'll leave it at 0 0.5 for now. So then we have vibrance. Now vibrance is a very important one. I like to have it at 40. Uh, what it does is, you know, it just boosts the color. So if I bump it all the way down, I will get, you know, a black and white screen. If I bump it all the way up, I will get so much color that it's barely even, you know, good to look at anymore. I like to leave it at around about uh, 40. You know, it's, it's a bit of a fiddly thing here, because, I, I mean, you can scroll, I think. No, you can't scroll. It's a bit fiddly, but hey, you know, you set it and you forget it. So that's kind of the way I, I treat this. So, then I like adding brightness and contrast. I don't like adding exposure, because what exposure does is this. And that might have hurt your eyes. So, you know, that's 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 horrible. Don't touch exposure, I feel. Contrast, you know, I like adding a bit of contrast to it. You know, it's... The game kind of looks washed out to me. Like, you know, this would be kind of like what the game looks like normally, I guess. But when you put your contrast very high, you know, it becomes very dark. So, I, I like leaving this at, you know, around like 18-ish percent. I think that looks kind of nice. You know, everything looks a bit darker, but not like, you know, super dark. And the highlights. I like removing a bit of the highlights because what the highlights do is, I can't display it right now, but if you have, a, you know, um, a distant blue, like a distant sun or something that is shining at you, the highlights will reduce a bit. Like, it will also reduce the, the bloom in the skybox because I think bloom in this game isn't always bad. It's just often bad in the skyboxes and the highlights kind of remove it from the, the skyboxes to make it look a bit better. So I kind of like running highlights at, uh, at 30 ish then we have shadows you know i like bumping up my shadows a little bit if you bump it up too much you know it becomes extreme uh, you can also remove shadows if you want to i like you know having a, a nice little bit of a shadow boost and gamma just, just you know don't touch it it's kind of the same as exposure you don't want to touch it at all all right and then finally i liked adding some details now details um it, it's it's very much about you know how crisp does your game look and i like adding a bit of sharpness now if you add too much sharpness as you can see, everything becomes like almost 
like 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 it's drawn or like it, it looks very weird to me i don't like it uh also you can you can remove it and everything looks you know um the same so i like to put sharpness at i think i had like 18 or something 80 percent and there's clarity clarity is is kind of similar you know you can remove it and make the game look very blurry which i guess is kind of nice if you want to have some artistic things going on or you can put it up all the way to the max and you kind of get a similar thing to uh, the sharpen where it looks like you know it looks very crisp but it doesn't fit the art style very well so it looks too crisp so i kind of like having this at around 20. yeah uh, there, there we go hdr toning you can you know bump it down you get very dark bump it up you get very bright you know i also like having some hdr toning but not not, not, not a lot i can't remember what it was at but I'll, I'll i'll figure it after the video and then bloom you don't want more bloom the game already has way too much bloom like just you know leave the bloom at zero that's fine guys don't touch the bloom so this is the setup that I'm using, and I'll be showcasing, you know, a couple different areas and stuff just to, um, you know, give you an idea of what it looks like and talk a bit about the pros and the cons of using this filter. Uh, but I do quickly want to touch upon some other stuff. Like, you have a black and white filter, which, you know, turns the entire thing into black and white. Um, filter black and white requires depth information, which is not available in this application. Okay, so depth black and white doesn't properly work, I guess. But, you know, we can remove black and white. And, you know, the stuff like Paintly, uh, for some reason, it's applying it to both... Uh, science, which is a bit weird, it should normally do that, but hey, I, I, I guess, you know, it's maybe a bug or something, I'm not sure. Anyway, you know, you, you have like a couple different iterations, and, you know, you can make it very painterly, which once again, you know, would it be great for gameplay? No. But maybe you have like some sort of artistic goal in mind, and then this would work. So let's remove the painterly. So as you can see, you know, it does a lot of stuff that stuff like Guild Wars 2 Hook also do. The thing is, however, this is both easier to set up, like you don't need to download anything external because this, this is already a part of your NVIDIA drivers. And, you know, it works with other games as well. And, uh, you know, this works with the DirectX 12 mod, while, you know, Gilbert's 2 Hook doesn't. You can always use Reshade instead, but, you know, it's like, it's, it's more fiddly, it's more work, it is easier. Obviously, it's more limited, but it's easier. So that's why I wanted to do a video on this in case you, you know, have an NVIDIA video, NVIDIA video card don't want to like download any external files you know just use this it looks good in my opinion and it barely takes a performance hit what i like recommending for testing your performance is as you can see in the bottom right corner of my screen you should see a an fps meter it's at 86 right now now if i swap between this and no filter you know you can see it bumps up to about 96 so this is giving me about a 10 fps hit now the 10 FPS hit doesn't do a lot for me in this area because it's, you know, it's going from mid 80s to mid 90s or like the other way around. That's fine. Just make sure it doesn't like give you a significant performance hit. So, you know, just like fiddle with some things and see what you can get away with. Stuff like call I think doesn't do a whole lot, but maybe like sharpen is probably like a, a bit more CPU intensive. So having said that, let us actually go ahead and uh, take a look at some different areas. So we can close this, you know, we can walk around and, you know, it's a bit weird because I'm controlling, well, one side of the screen kind of and you know the other side is just duplicating it which is a bit interesting but hey it works so i just wanted to showcase this um you know this filter in a couple different areas so first of all uh, let's pay a quick visit oh this is weird zooming in is like in the middle so it's it's it, it's working a bit odd but hey i'll manage oh it's actually oh boy okay so this is a bit weird because uh the um mouse is not actually displayed correctly because it's you no know, the game is still playing the exact same way but, you know, I'll, I'll manage. I'll manage, guys. It's fine. So this is the Winter's Day area. And here you can clearly see... This is why I wanted to visit this first. You can clearly see one of the things that is is both good and wrong. By the way, I have character models at, like, medium, so don't mind the lag. So you can clearly see that, you know, the normal game looks very white-ish with a bit of a blue tint. But because I have so much vibrance in my game, the uh, Crown Pavilion area... Is it called Crown Pavilion? This right? Yes. It is. Uh, it is, you know... It becomes a bit more blue and you may not like blue so what you could do is if you have areas with a lot of blue in there you could just go in here and you could have a second filter that is the exact same but you change it to not have as much vibrance or maybe even have a uh, you know a bit of a color shift going on where you take away some of the blue so you know there's a lot of different ways you can you can work with that all right so let's go to a bit of a different area let's go to a very extreme area let's try and see if we can make our way to the fire island chain i i'm not Okay, this, this is not working. I, I can't even access it properly because, you know, I, I, I can't scroll there because it's like displaying weird. So let me do just do this and there we go. 
we are now going to the Fire Island chain. So now you will once again see the left side is a normal game, the right side is the, uh, you know, the filter. Thing is though, it also impacts the UI. So if I open up my inventory, you can see it changes this and this side of the inventory, which I don't think is a problem. I don't think it looks bad. I actually think the icons look better when I do have the filter applied, but it's just something to keep in mind. And you know, some stuff might look a bit weird because it's not intended with the, the, the filter in place. So in the Crown Pavilion, we had a lot of blue. Here we have a lot of red. I mean, to be fair, we've got, also got some blue as well, but you know, it's, it's a lot of red. You can see this ground looks very washed out to me. And I, I much prefer it with like, you know, a, a bit more color to it. But the one thing I really, really like here, for example, is the reds. Like, I think the reds look really good over there. You know, it's 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 nice, but that's nicer, right? You know, it, it looks a bit more, I don't know, it, it, you know, it just looks more colorful, but in, in a very good way. Here as well, like you can see this looks kind of washed out. This looks like more like dark red, like it looks, you know, more impactful to me. So, you know, I really like it in this area. So in this area, I wouldn't have to change the filter here. It works very well, in my opinion. So let's see, uh, let's go to Desolation, which I guess, you know, is the, it's not a color. So we've had uh, blue, we've had red. Let's go for a bit of yellow. And I guess after this, we can visit the jungle for some greens. And then Desolation, once again, you can see it affects the loading screen as well. But here, once again, I think it looks really good. You know, the, the dark looks really nice. The uh, the floor looks, looks really good. You know, it, it, it's it's a bit less like white sandy and more like yellow sandy. But, you know, is that a problem? Not, not, not at all, in my opinion. So let us go on to the sulfur because I think the sulfur looks really good. It's a it's a very subtle change, to be fair. But if you look at this, you can see that, the you know, once again, it looks less washed out and the yellow just looks nicer. It looks more sulfurous, I suppose. And I, I just really like the way it looks. So I think once again here, it works perfectly fine. So the only area so far we have seen where it doesn't work as well, maybe, would be a blue area where you can have a different filter if you so desire. So let's go to Auric Basin now and, you know, just see what it looks like in a bit of a green area. Spoiler alert, I think it looks great here as well. So the only complaint I have with my current setup is the blues. You can see once again the blues over here get a, get like bl overblown a little bit, but I don't mind it as much because this is like a very magical looking place, so I don't mind it as much. I think the greens uh, look a lot better. I think it looks more vibrant and you know just better in general. Uh, you can see that like, there's a clear difference in sharpness here and, and here, like it just all looks a bit sharper, and it just I I think it's just a bit nicer. So you know that is a bit of a green area. Let's see. So one thing we can do still, uh, I guess we can do another blue area. Just go to purest marches because it's like it's blue but it's a bit of a different tint right you know it's a bit more dark it's a bit um more spooky i suppose and i guess we can just make a bit of a run for it to like the forest area because i think the forest area has a very distinct look so let's just you know uh, wander over there for a bit while i ramble on about whatever so yeah the main thing you want to keep an eye on is of course you know does it look great everywhere like i'd rather have one preset that works everywhere then have uh, you know, three different presets that I need to keep swapping between because as far as I know, there is no easy way to swap between them automatically. Like, it's not like you can be like, hey, uh, if I load into one of these maps, like change the filter to this. Maybe there is like some weird way you can do it, but you know, it's nothing that I know of. So I much prefer having one preset. Now, you know, maybe if I create a video of, or something like in a specific area, you know, I, I might create a preset for the video specifically, but I wouldn't want to, on every single map load, pretty much be swapping around my filters. So I like to create one that looks great everywhere. And I think this one, like in this area where it's, you know, it's a bit darker, it works. Like it really works here. Like it does become bluer, but bluer, is that worse? More blue. But, you know, here it works because it's a, it's a bit more like a horror theme to it. And I think it looks great. Now, I think when we, once we enter the forest, we go from blue a bit more to like a, a gray whitish tint. I mean, it's still a bit blue, but yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's, it's a bit more like horror vibes, which once again, you know, this looks very, uh, like gray washed out. And this looks a bit more like dark black, like the shadows look a bit better. And I think in general, this is just, you know, a very nice place to display it as well. Uh, maybe it's nice to also display uh, a fire. Like I think there's a fire around here, right? You know, just to see what it looks like. So here you can see there's a fire over there. Uh, I mean, the difference is very subtle, like the, it, it just looks a bit warmer and a bit nicer because the red is more vibrant. So, you know, once again, it, it looks greater or it looks better. So, you know, that's pretty much all I wanted to display. I think I've covered pretty much every like kind of map at least. Uh, maybe I should go to Grofmar for a bit. You know, I haven't honestly been to Grofmar in like 
in like months, I think. Like I, ne I never go here. But for the sake of the video, I'll return to Grofmar Valley because it's a very colorful map. And maybe it's nice to display what it looks like in Grofmar just for... Um, uh, but it's it's dark. I was hoping it at least be like nice and bright out. Is there like a nice and bright waypoint here? Um, let's see. Is there any... Yeah, no, I, I think this is... There's not a lot that is brighter. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, once again, I think it looks better here. And I see no reason to not run it here. So, you know... The only area I could possibly complain about might be like, you know, a bit of a Shiver Peaks area. Which I guess is where I'll end the video. So we'll go to uh, to Fresh Go Frost Gorge Sound. And actually, we haven't been underwater yet, have we? Let me go underwater. Just get a bit of a comparison going there as well. And once again, you know, here I think the blue looks really nice. I think the blue looks great. I think the blue really adds to like the underwater experience. Because this looks like... This looks like I'm barely underwater. Well, here it looks like, you know, it's, it's way more... more well watery and also you know if i just look at this place like it looks nice and warm and cozy and you know this just looks a bit washed out also like these plants over here like the the, the pink plants like they look so much better with the filter engaged so it's a bit of a long video and you know I, it's obviously the setup part is super simple you just go in here and like you, you can either copy what i'm running right now or you can just, you know, change it to whatever you want to change it to. Uh, you know, it's obviously up to you. Depending on your monitor and depending on, you know, the way your eyes function, uh, you might like different things. You might think I have way too much vibrance in here. You may think I don't have enough vibrance in here. You might like the game a lot darker. You might like the game a lot brighter. Like, there's so many different options. But this is how you can set it up. Uh, you know, I would be very interested to see what you guys are running, if anyone is also running the uh, NVIDIA game filter. Uh, so let me know in the comments. Anyway, I'll be posting the specific setup that I'm running uh, in the comments, so you can just, you know, copy it, like, like add it into your own game, because I don't think there's a, 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 a preset kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a nice day, and, um, well, Merry Christmas. Bye, guys.